Dan Wooten, I have not forgotten about you, but it clearly seems like the world has. Hey guys, it's Marab Morali. Hope you guys are all doing well today. Back in again with another video. If you have not subscribed, guys, click that button. It is daily and consistent content. And let's get straight into this video where I wanted to make a quick two, three minute video just to say that it's so scary what has happened with Dan Wooten and for the fact that he's still allowed to be on TV. The fact that nothing's been done over the last couple of weeks, there's been so many reports from via Byline Times, there's been people who've come forward about how they've been drugged and R-worded by this man, confessionals by these people, you know, catfishing, selling tapes, etc. People coming forward, finding stuff. There's been so many separate different cases, let alone harassment and bullying, yet nothing has been done when it comes to Dan Wooten being penalized properly and being taken off. Air. He's still on GB News, he's still reporting daily, he's still getting, you know, whatever kind of accumulation of views. And whilst, yes, he's been suspended from the Mail Online, which is a very lucrative role, he still is on TV where he's been accused far more and far worse than Philip Schofield or, you know, Hugh Edwards, in the, who've also been, you know, in the media quite a bit. So I think it's just very dark and scary that a man like this can seem to be so powerful that why is the Sun and the Daily Mail so quiet on this man and not saying anything? They did not jump into the media storm. They did not make anything. Eventually, The Guardian did. Eventually, BBC and ITV made some kind of, you know, article. But the majority of these, you know, train-hating corporate... Who the hell is that? Sorry. Sorry about that, guys. Um, but yeah, I find it to be incredibly scary that so many of these allegations can come forth and even witnesses can come forth, yet this man is still allowed to be on TV and allowed to be untouchable. These hate training corporations like The Sun and Daily Mail who go in on people continuously and don't stop until they either pass away, commit suicide, have remained so silent on this man. What does he have on them that he can survive and overcome the worst of the worst allegations somebody can face who is in the public I. Anybody else, they will no longer be on TV anymore. When it comes to even an ounce or an inch of these allegations that have come forth, or even witnesses that have come forth, or multiple articles. Yet as when it comes to Dan, he has something over a lot of people who work in high places, probably why he was getting sex workers to film this person without permission. So he has something that he would release in some kind of way, which is why he's still allowed to be on TV. This mail suspension, I believe, was to appease people and give it a year or so, and he'll be right back at the mail writing stuff, and people will be completely over it. I just find it to be extremely scary that this man is still allowed to be publicly making videos like nothing happened. Publicly, um, you know, on news corporations like nothing happened. Happened. I just find it to be incredibly scary because of the things that he's been accused of, nobody else would be. What does he have on the executives that work in these corporations? What does he have over their head where he seems to be puppeteering them all? What does he have? Let me know your thoughts are when it comes to this, guys. Quick three minute video. Subscribe to the channel. I would really, really appreciate it, guys. It's fresh content 24 7. Thank you so much to those who send me super thanks. I really do appreciate it. And I'll catch you guys soon for another video.